Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Katrina Sargent, owner and creator of Devil Doll Custom Creations. Today we're gonna to be doing another video for my Tumblr mystery box series, Milk and Honey Bath Bombs. This is part of my spring honeybee Tumblr mystery box. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. Like always, I will have everything linked in the description below, including the full recipe. So you're gonna need a few things to start. You're gonna need a digital scale and a glass or ceramic container to heat up cocoa butter separately from your dry ingredients. You can use a double boiler method or you can pop it in the microwave, which I am doing. The amount of cocoa butter depends on how humid your area is. If you're high humidity, do the less cocoa butter. Once you have that heating up, you're then going to start sifting your dry ingredients together. So first the baking soda, and then on to your next ingredients. You do not need to sift any clays or you definitely don't sift SLSA, which is gonna be at the very end. I'll explain why once I get there. Don't forget to tear out your scale between each ingredient so you don't add more or less of an ingredient. I'm actually just sifting it into my stand-up mixer bowl because I'm using my stand-up mixer for this. If you absolutely can do this by hand. You do not need a stand-up mixer for these bath bombs. I am using whole milk powder. You can use buttermilk powder or coconut milk powder. They're just gonna be slightly different end results. The milk powder gives you the benefits of having a milk bath plus this beautiful foaming agent in your bath bomb once you add it to your water. Moving on to the SLSA. It can irritate your lungs. It's an extremely fine particle, so I wear a mask, and you do not have to sift this because it becomes airborne. So once I have it weighed out, I gently fold it into my mixture before I put it under my stand-up mixer because if you don't do this, it can poof up like a cloud and it can irritate your lungs for a lot longer. My cocoa butter is now melted. I'm gonna be adding polysorbate 80 into it. Polysorbate 80 is an emulsifier for water and oil to bind. And so you won't have a slick bathtub when you leave the bathtub and that you won't have that color ring around your bathtub as well. I'm adding fragrance oil. Your fragrance amount depends on how strong your fragrance oil is. Where you purchase your fragrance oils, they will have a list of the max amount you can use. You need to follow that regulation as well. Make sure everything is fully incorporated before you start slowly adding it to your dry mixture. Make sure that is fully mixed before you start adding a binder, which can be witch hazel, 99% alcohol. I've even heard of people doing water. I use witch hazel. I have it in a spray bottle so you can spritz it as it's mixing. Make sure you're not adding too much because if you add too much binder, your citric acid can start to activate. You don't want that, you want it to activate in your bath water. So do a couple spritz, see how it is, and then do a couple more if you need more. Make sure to wipe down the edges of your bowl because your binder can stick to the edges. Once you are think you're happy, give it a good squeeze. And if it has like that wet sand consistency or it holds its shape as it drops back into the bowl, that's a perfect consistency. I am going to split this into two bowls. I'm going to color one of them with gold mica, and I'm gonna leave the other one this cream color. This is not gonna be a white bath bomb because the milk powders and the honey powder makes it a cream color. So 
So I am using a 3D printed 2.5 sphere bath bomb mold. There is a lot of different ones on Etsy. I'll have mine linked in the description. I love it. To get that swirl on the top, all you have to do is add a little bit of mixture of both colors and then take a I'm using a kebab stick, but you can do a popsicle stick and just give it two little swirls and then lightly fill up the rest of your mold with sprinkling in different colors. Until you reach the top, you wanna to make sure you're lightly packing it. Also, if you stab into your bath bomb and create holes, that's gonna help it float. If you do this on the very, very top, make sure those holes are covered. I'm not adding any embeds into this bath bomb, but I'm going to kind of sprinkle the top over and rub the edges where the top part of the bath bomb goes into, but I'm leaving that middle kind of domed. Use your body weight, press it down. I flip it over and press it again. And then these 3D molds have this outer sleeve, so you can kind of shimmy it to get any extra bath bomb mixture off. And then I take my hand and still rub along that Saturn ring, which is the place between the two mold pieces. Take a spoon and tap, 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 tap the top, tap the bottom, tap the sides. This will help it release from the mold easily. And then you're gonna set these off to the side and you're going to let them dry for a minimum of 24 hours before you package them, or in my case, before I add my gold mica onto the top. I forgot to mention at the very beginning, humidity is the enemy to bath bombs. So you wanna make sure your house is roughly about 40% humidity. Higher than that, you're gonna have a hard time. They're gonna start activating or they get these little bumps on them, they're called warts. So if you have a dehumidifier, turn it on. I let mine sit to dry in a closet with a dehumidifier at all times. This helps them from not activating too soon. Or you can just not ever do bath bombs if it's a rainy day or super humid summer days. Figure out what works best for you and your home and your company. Now these have dried for 24 hours, they are rock hard. I'm gonna be adding some gold mica to the top. You don't have to do this, I'm just a little extra. So I add gold mica with some rubbing alcohol, stir it up really good, and then take a pipette and kinda of sprinkle it onto the tops of these bath bombs. Since it has this beautiful swirl, you don't really need to do this, but I've always done the gold on my milk and honey bath bombs and I just think it's a little really something something nice <laughs> but if you like you can take a brush and splatter it on if you want a little bit more finer drops and then enjoy it in a nice warm or hot bath water look at how well that spins and floats it is just the best feeling in the world to be bathing in this wonderful bath water I hope everyone liked this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. Check out my other channel coming soon, Bubble Bee Bath Treats. That's gonna have all my other bath fun products on it in the future. Please like, share, subscribe. It means the world to me. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please write them in the comments. I do write back. And thank you everyone for your continued support.